Hello my friends, we are in the kitchen yet again tonight and what I'm going to be doing is basically we are having a very nice pleasant fish meal on the Mediterranean side however with the his and hers kick twist so the one thing that is going to change is there are potatoes in this recipe now I will only use certain kind anymore I will not use a regular russet potato or something like that the only type basically I will use is like little fingerlings yellow gold or the red potatoes to which I have here but for my husband we are going to change it up to have radishes baked or fried up these give an impression and a flavor of a fried or baked potato for him so we are going to be taking care of his potatoes this way in the meantime mine these have got to boil right quick so we're going to set our pot on here to cook I am going to add these potatoes in here to soften let this cook and we are going to proceed to cook our meal now the fish that I am going to be using will be a fresh flounder that I we had purchased from a seafood market we found over the weekend and I had to actually fillet them I didn't get a whole lot because it wasn't a very big fish but yet still we will be using this. So I am going to go ahead and set everything up and we are going to go ahead and prepare our seafood meal for tonight. Okay y'all, so for my husband's potatoes, mine are over here boiling. So for his, I'm going to add some olive oil to this. I'm going to give it as much of a flavor of fried potatoes as I can in wedges forms and using healthy fats so I have olive oil and I will be adding some homemade ghee to this as well the ghee will give it a pleasant flavor of a buttery scent since this is a clarified butter going to add about a tablespoon to that with this. Now for the recipe, again, I went traveling and so I had found this recipe this evening and I thought I'd give it a try. For this one here, um, basically it's a very simple meal so just take notes on this the radishes I had cleaned and cut into wedges now I like I said I am going to use the same method as potatoes on my potatoes as I am here but I'm going to be switching things up so right now I'm going to let this come up to heat I could have boiled these but I chose not to I'm gonna do it this way I think it gives it more flavor to get that brown crust basically flavoring to the radishes and my husband happens to really like that this is a safe method him being type 2 diabetic as I told some of my uh, subscribers last night who we spoke to um, I'm not forgetting my low carbers we still do that y'all I may be doing Mediterranean but I'm also doing low carb because I have to. This is how I'm doing that. And I end up doing a lot of his and her meals this way. But I'm okay because I know he is safe. And the fact is, is I'm maintaining so I'm staying in this range with me. I will pick and choose my battles per se when it comes to my carbs. <clears throat> I will choose one or two nights in the week where I will not have any simple carbs, which would be potatoes, breads, rice, or any of those. I will choose a legume, possibly. And then again, I may choose an all-vegetarian night with no even protein. So, but tonight I wanted seafood. So, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to let this come up to heat, and once this is up to heat, I will be right back and show you how we're going to take care of these radishes. Okay, so I got that little shimmering going on of this heated olive oil and ghee. I'm just going to go ahead and add these radishes in here. 
and I'll be right back because I've got to get a spatula. One thing I have to say in a lot of my research, I have one major thing that I can honestly say I kind of feel some envy for with the Mediterranean. Most everywhere that I have looked around, they have the most amazing, beautiful markets you could ever think of. We, for the most part here, don't have all that accessibility. We have the occasional farmer's market. You know, in some ways, they're out of the league to even purchase. And I wish at this point everything that I could do was not seasonal because frankly in my area I'm getting tired of purchasing vegetables that are nasty. I'll just be honest they're nasty and I'm having to pick and choose what I want and what I don't want and what I can use and what I'll just absolutely skip. I wish I had the atmosphere to grow whatever I wanted whenever I wanted but I don't. So I will give the Mediterranean side of life, they are very fortunate to have those beautiful markets. So that's one thing I wish we as America could actually gather and get clicked onto is having markets like that available for us. I think that would be really awesome. It's not like we don't have the accessibility to do so. We really do. But. So, I'm just going to go ahead now and saute, saute these up. I'm going to do a little bit of salt and pepper to this. I'm using Himalayan sea salt like always. It's the only salt I use. Now I'm going to let these saute until they're golden brown. And then I'm going to dress these mock potatoes for my husband the same way in the sense is what's going to be happening to my potatoes. So once these are uh, golden brown, I will be back to finish this side of uh, this meal up. Okay, y'all. So now we've got his radishes golden brown. And now I'm going to actually just sprinkle on some dill, some fresh dill into this. Toss this up really good. I've got my heat turned off and I'm going to set this aside because this will be the bedding for the placement of our fish. So hubby's side is finished. I'm waiting on mine. I'm going to start our fish next. This is a very quick meal. So I am actually you will find that this will be basically a very short video. It's quick, easy, you won't spend a whole lot of time. I think the hardest part or the longest part of this whole meal is waiting for the potatoes if you are those who are eating potatoes to boil and soften up. Otherwise, this is a very quick meal. So we've got that set aside and now I'm gonna wait on these potatoes. After they're finished, I'm gonna go ahead and do the shrimp. Put this meal together and we will be done. Okay, so my potatoes are finished and I am going to strain these and show you how we're going to take care of this side. Get these strained right quick. I'm going to keep using the same, I am going to be using the same pot because I'm going to actually add to this. Now these are going to be very hot, so I'm going to pull these out and I'm going to cut them and put them back inside this pot. Now I'm going to cut these in somewhat like wedges. Ooh lordy, that's hot. Now I didn't have the fingerlings, I have some things that are hard to find. So I'm using red potatoes, so my potatoes are a bit off from those beautiful little potatoes, and I will be finding some if I can. Got one more, and this is going to be more than enough for one meal, or more, it's, this is for more than just one meal, Lord have mercy. I'm burning my fingers doing this, so, okay, now. 
to this, I'm actually going to be adding some ghee instead of butter. Turn my heat up on just a little bit. this. I'm going to mix these potatoes again just like the radishes with some salt and pepper. Very simple ingredients. Ghee leaves kind of a nutty flavor behind but it's a beautiful flavor on the potato and this is actually a better fat source to choose from. I happen to really enjoy ghee. But with the fish, I'm actually going to be using real butter. Because I need that um, butter fat to actually melt. But we're not going to use a whole lot of it. Now I am going to add just a little bit more ghee to this. down into these potatoes without trying to destroy them and just like the radishes I'm going to be sprinkling in some dill this is homegrown straight from our own gardens I'll definitely be trying to do this again this fall because this dill a lot of people would grow it just for pickling I'm literally growing it for our meals for Mediterranean so and that's going to accompany our fish very well I add a couple more pieces of dill to this And it's just roughly chopping it, basically, so. And that's it. Oh, the aroma. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Okay, so now this is done. I'm going to set this aside, and we are going to go ahead and start with the fish. So, I'll get this ready, and I will be right back. Okay, y'all, so the next step is our fish. Now, I am actually going to be doing this method a little bit different from... The recipe that I've seen. The original recipe calls for a nice thick piece of white fish with the skin on. However, mine is filleted and there is no skin. The other thing that I am not doing, it is still a white fish which is flounder. However, the other part that they did was roll it up in a flour mix. I am opting to take that and eliminating the flour. So I am actually going to be pan searing this flounder fillets in olive oil in my pan. I'm going to do everything else the same on this, only I'm eliminating the flour coating. Basically for two reasons. One, my husband cannot have it. Two, it cuts down on the carbs on this because since I already have potatoes. and. I think it would be more pleasant so and I do not have skin so it would not really help me per se with trying to crisp up a skin so this is what I am going to do now I do have some really nice fillets of flounder this is extremely fresh caught out of Biloxi Mississippi so I am currently going to wait until my oil is heated through and then I'm going to add this to our pan and we're going to cook it in here I am using one lemon I also rind the lemon just like I've been showing you all and what I do is when I'm just using it for the juice I will take and grade the rind off freeze it because I could use it for dehydrating making lemon pepper I can use it in recipes as an enhancement flavor to adding lemon rind 
very wor well worth saving when I go through so much fresh lemons. So, once this heats up, we will begin. Okay, y'all. <clears throat> so we have our oil hot enough, and I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. I'm going to add my fillets. And I will be salt and peppering both sides as we go along here. I do not fret over making our meals. I try not to complicate things. It's a pretty simple lifestyle. I used to complicate it. It stressed me out so much that there were times I gave up. And as I started studying more and more, I became more and more relaxed when I realized how simple this is. It's not complicated, and so many want to make it complicated. I just I'm, I'm at the point, some of the groups that I'm in, I'm about to ready to leave because to complicate things, it makes no sense. And the way I'm setting my mind to, the things that I've ever known in here where we live, 95% of everything around here is processed. My mind is set on to those foods those items, they just don't exist. Um, this low fat stuff, that, it's all basically processed things. I understand some people have to have it, but it is still processed. So there are ways, there are things for us we just can't seem to get around. Then again, there are ways we can get around them. It's just whatever we choose to do. I'm going to go ahead and pepper this one down. I don't think I hit this side yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and cook our fish in here for the moment. Get this cooked through. Once it's cooked through, I will show you the rest of the ingredients we're going to need. Very simple. Believe this or not, very light, elegant, yet very simple meal. So, as soon as this fish is cooked, I will go ahead and come back here and show you what our next step is. And this will be the nearing of the completion on cooking our beautiful flounder meal. So we will be back. And while our flounder is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and do our sides. Now I am using garden fresh cucumbers. I will say, if you get some that have gotten yellow, if somebody has actually, maybe they've given you, like we did, some cucumbers that have actually sat too long, they're going to be kind of bitter. But what I always end up doing is when I cut the ends off, I will rub the ends like so, like this, until it brings out this foam, as you can see right there. That's drawing out the bitterness in this cucumber for you to be able to enjoy it. So, and I'm going to do that on both ends of this. And like I said, this draws out the bitterness within inside this cucumber. Just a neat little garden trick. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to peel just some of this, not all of it. stuff, y'all. We pay expensive prices for cheap stuff. Ah, that's it. So, my goal was to make us some pinwheel looking cucumbers. Go ahead and flip these over again. Beautiful. Alright, so this fish is getting turned off. Our fish is complete. 
Now what I'm going to do, I'm low setting actually, I'm going to be adding about a tablespoon of butter to this and we're going to melt it in here. Our goal is to have this butter turn brown, otherwise known as brown butter. What brown butter means is you're going to cook down this butter just like you would ghee. You're going to cook down the water out of it first, then the butter fat to it, and it's going to leave this golden color. So that's what I am looking for. I will be wanting this golden color. So I'm going to be taking this butter down to brown butter letting that sit for a moment. In the meantime, I'm going to come over here taking our cucumbers because these are going to be the sides to go with our meal tonight along with sliced avocado. Garden fresh cucumbers. Oh, and I got a beautiful treat. Garden fresh as well. Now, this didn't come from our garden. It did come from a friend of my husband's from his job. But the next ingredient came from our own garden. So now I'm just going to add our cucumber slices to be taken within our meal. Yeah, come on. I'm going to get rid of this right quick and then come back to the next one. So the next beautiful ingredient will be this lovely basket of cherry tomatoes that we've been harvesting this week. And so I am going to be taking a few out of here and we're going to be cutting them in half and adding that to our side of tomatoes and cucumbers. I'm just going to choose a few variety of colors here. Cutting out the bigger ones into wedge forms, the smaller ones directly in half. And just creating a medley of vegetables that we're going to have along with this. I've currently got some of these cherry tomatoes as well in the dehydrator because I am going to turn them into sun-dried tomatoes and they're going to eventually be marinating in olive oil in my refrigerator with some garlic. Okay, so we've got our butter now to brown butter base. Now I'm also going to be adding some sliced spring onions to this. Cutting this lemon that we took the peel off of, rolling it to release the juices. I will now be turning this off. Cutting this in half. I'm gonna get my lemon squeezer. fresh lemon all over the top of our beautiful fish. Now I'm going to use one whole lemon for this because I want that lemony flavor in here. Sometimes I wish y'all could smell this. It, the smell of vision would be absolutely amazing. And that's it. So our fish is prepared. Our potatoes are prepared. Working on our vegetables now. And then we will create our dish. And then we will come back and set this up. I went to go do some uh, farm work this evening, y'all. Shut the place down. I got to tell you what I went and gathered. This is where I start really enjoying this kind of lifestyle. I had my apron on, so I actually took advantage of these really deep pockets. <laughs> got some jalapenos that we found for my salsa verde we're getting ready to make some of that 
all these tomatoes. Now these are going to have to ripen the rest of the way in the house. But we've got some really bad heat, so I'm trying to save them as much as I possibly can. Look at this, y'all. That. Ooh, lordy, that's a nice one. Now we just got bits and pieces here and there. And then another tomatilla, which we've been gathering up too. So that was a nice haul. Oh, wait, I got one more in there. That was actually a really nice haul. So I'm pretty proud of this. And I just add it as I go along until I get enough to make what I need to do. Let me get this put away. We're going to uh, plate up our plates since hubby is now home. Um, and we'll be right back. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to start with his first. We're going to take a nice center scoop in the middle of this plate of his radishes. And I did make a small batch, so I'm going to give him all of these. Now, on top of this, we're going to serve a couple fillets of this fish on the top. It was broke down in pieces, so. And then we're going to take some of these greens right around the edge of this plate. Just like so. And now, for the fresh vegetables, we're going to take half of an avocado and I'm going to fan them on this plate. Go along the edge of my avocado to scoop it out. to get a smaller bowl. Um, let's say right here. And then we're going to add our tomatoes and our cucumbers to this. We get a couple of cucumbers some of our tomatoes and that is our supper I will go ahead and give you a close-up of what tonight's meal looks like now this is the very low carb one the next one will be and it's set up the same exact way but that one is with uh, potatoes so I'll give you a close-up of our dinner tonight and show you what it looks like and here we are, y'all. We went seafood on the Mediterranean side. And so this is the low carb with the fried uh, radishes, the beautiful flounder on top, a half an avocado sliced, cucumbers, and farm um, tomatoes. I hope you enjoyed this meal. I hope you enjoyed being in the kitchen with me. And until next time, much love from Parton's Heritage Homestead.